I will bless the Lord at all times. Is there anybody in our corner today who will praise the Lord with me? Come on, throw up your hands and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on now. After a wonderful day of celebration on yesterday, celebrating the birth of our Savior, and after a day of enjoying food and festivities and fellowship with our family and friends, can't we give God some praise and good today? Come on, come on, if you are alive today, you ought to praise your God. Because in God we live and move and have our being. Hallelujah. So if you're in your right mind right now, then throw up your hands one more time and shout hallelujah. God bless you. Good morning, Hong Kong. And good morning to all our Facebook family and friends. Merry Christmas. To you all, it is good to be here in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I am Pastor John Wooten. I bid you grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and from Jesus Christ our Lord. Welcome to our digital and in-person worship service. We are here today at the sanctuary of Higher Calling Baptist Church where we believe that God has a higher calling for your life. Please stand all over the church and join our choir as they minister to us in an opening song. And please know that we do not own the rights to the music that is played here today. After which, please remain standing. Come on in. Please remain standing as our deacon leads us in prayer.
Again, good morning and Merry Christmas. We ask that you buy your heads. Oh, Heavenly Father, hallelujah, Emmanuel. Thank you, God, for a brand new morning of a wonderful holiday, God, season. Thank you for your son, Jesus, God, the one who died on the cross that we may have life more abundant. Oh, Heavenly Father, we come at this appointed time, God, God, we are must deliver one more time. And for this very last Sunday of 2021, God, we're just grateful just to be here. It didn't look like we was going to make it, but because of your new mercy and new grace, God, we're still here. Along the way, God, we have lost family members, friends, and so many other people that we know. But God, we want to tell you thank you this morning, God. Thank you, God. For the activities of our limbs and blessed in our right mind. Yes. yes. Thank you, God, for your shield of protection. Yes. Through last night as we saw and slept. Yes. And God, you brought us to our chosen place. God, thank you for traveling and mercy this morning, God. Yes. God, we are grateful this morning, God, just to be amongst the living. Yes. A good health, God. Yes. Sound mind. Yes. Thank you for all your many blessings. Yes, God. Down through the years, God. Yes. You've been mighty, mighty good to us. Yes. Yes. You have supplied our every need, God. Yes. From the rent being paid, lights being on, God. Yes. Food on the table, God. Hallelujah. Something to drink, clothes on my back. Yes. Even something to drive, God. Yes. God, you even bless us with our continuous job down to the yes. God. Yes. And God, you allow us to be good time givers, God. Yes. God, God, you said we bless your house, yes. that you would surely bless our house. Yes. Thank you, God, from January to right now, God. Thank you, God. For how you have supplied our need, God. Yes. What a mighty God we serve, God. Yes. Even in the tough times, God. Yes. You said that we'll have trials of tribulation, God. Yes. But one thing about it, God, we didn't give up, God. Because yes. we know who we serve. Yes. What a mighty God we serve. Yes. Thank you for your son, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. When times got tough, even in good times, God, we can say, Jesus. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. We can call his name for strength, God, yes. encouragement, God, yes. for healing, God, for deliverance, God. Thank you, God, for your son, Jesus. God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, God, for all your many, many blessings. It's a joy to be amongst the living this morning, God. To be with our church family this morning, God. Yeah. We're grateful this morning, God. Yeah. For every visitor, God, that are here this morning, God. Yeah. We're grateful for that too, God. Because yeah. we know that they're trusting you, Lord, Lord, just like we're trusting you, God. Yeah. Thank you for all your many blessings. Yeah. God, you have truly been good to how you're calling me. Yes. Down through this year, God. Yeah. Thank you for your blessing, God. Thank you for each and every member, God. Yeah. Thank you for the leadership, God. Yeah. Thank you for every auxiliary, God. Yeah. Thank you for the youth department, God. Yeah. Thank you, God, for all your blessings, God. So, God, as we pray now, God, we ask that you remove those that are sick, shut in, bereaved, famine, those that are going through many trials and tribulations. And, God, we know that in this time of year, God, there's so many stress all over the land. But, God, there is one gift, God, that we're grateful for, God, for your son, Jesus. And, God, we tell you, thank you once again, God. We can't even say it enough, God. Thank you for all your blessings. Remember those, God, that we're going through right now, God. God, we are praying for this nation, this community, this city, God. So, Father, have your way, Lord. And bless the man serving, God, who's going to bring the word this morning, God. Strengthen him, God, that he may do what you call him to do, God. And, God, we tell you, thank you for all your many blessings. Have your way, God. Have your way. It is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. 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 We thank God for our deacon, amen, leading us in prayer this morning. Amen. We thank God for the preachers and all deacons who have joined us today. Certainly we thank God for all of you as well as for all of our visitors. Please note that we will continue, as, as you can see, with the COVID protocols, particularly seeing that the Omicron variant is causing a resurge in the COVID disease. That means that while you are at High Calling Baptist Church, you will be required to wear a mask which covers your mouth and your nose. Amen? Amen. And we expect you to have the mask on over your nose. Amen? Amen. Amen. 
very often sometimes we tend to let it slip down. Amen. And we're asking you to keep it over your nose. If you do not have it over your nose, then you can expect someone to come and tap you on the shoulder and ask you to put it over your nose. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. To all to our members. Amen. Those of you who would like to give to our ministry, there are three ways to do so. First, you can visit our website at www.hcbcwilsonnc.com and press the donate button. Amen. Uh, you can mail your donation to Higher Calling Baptist Church, 4036 Ward Boulevard, Wilson, North Carolina, 27893. And thirdly, you can stop by the church. Amen. After service, up until 2 p.m. Amen. And there will be someone to assist you. Can the church say amen? Amen. 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 Well, it's word time. Right. And then the word will come, amen, from a very capable uh, vessel today. Uh, my son in the gospel, amen, Brother James, here. Amen. 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 He truly needs no introduction, but I would like to say I am grateful for what God is doing in him. I've seen him elevated. Yes. Amen. I, 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 it, it's just amazing to me to see how God blesses us. Amen. Amen. When we yield to him. Yes. Amen. That is an awesome thing to see. It is. And so we are very uh, blessed, amen, to be a part of what God is doing with Brother James Gear. Amen. 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 Uh, the next voice you're going to hear now by way of preaching will be that of Reverend James Gill. However, our male chorus is going to minister to us two songs. Amen. Amen. Then after that, Reverend James Gill. Amen. Same choir.
Sometimes my room seems dark and dreary. I can hardly find my way. Sometimes my burdens get so heavy till I just have sleepless nights and lonely days. But I believe if I keep holding on. Mas 
soul. that you are too on this day. God is still good. He's an awesome God. He's a loving God. Compassionate God. Yeah, yeah, he's just good all the time. I give him honor on today, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. I also give honor, amen, to my pastors. Amen, Dr. John, John Melvin Wooten and Patricia Wooten. I give them all on today. They are a good friend of mine. And some people might say, well, how are you going to call your pastor your friend? Well, he's good to have a pastor that you can be a friend to. Amen. Some people get a little mixed up and say, well, you uh, it shouldn't be no friend. You know, it should just be your pastor. No, he's my friend. Amen. And I love him dearly. Amen. I give him honor, amen, on today, amen. I give honor, amen, to all these preachers that's here, amen, amen. I give honor to them on today, uh, Reverend, amen, uh, Jones. I give honor to her on today, amen. I give honor, amen, also to Reverend, uh, Lord, I'm forgetting names here. Adams, I'm sorry, bless your heart. I give names, uh, honor to her. Amen. All the preachers that are here today, amen, the deacon saints and friends, amen, I give honor, amen, to my baby brother. He's here on today, uh, Isaac. I give honor to you, amen. Thank God for you. I'm two sisters, Lena and Deborah, I give honor to you. They got some cousins out there that I thought I seen come in. I give honor to you, amen. Shirley, Joseph, amen. Is that queen? Give honor to you, too, as well. We thank God. Amen. We thank God for you being here. All our visitors, we thank God for you, too. Amen. 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 Okay, we're going to go to the Word of God this morning. Amen. We'll be coming out of the book of Galatians, of Galatians the fourth chapter. Thank you, Jesus. I'm waiting for my calmness to come. <laughs> fourth chapter. Amen. If you stand with the Word of God, we appreciate you. Fourth chapter. We're going to be coming, starting around the, let's start the fourth verse. That's Galatians, fourth, fourth chapter, 
verse number 4. Yeah. And it reads, But when the fullness of the time was come, uh -huh. God sent forth his son, uh -huh. made of a woman, uh -huh. made under the law, uh -huh. to redeem them that were under the law, uh -huh. that we might receive the adoptions of sons. Uh -huh. Now, and because ye are sons, uh -huh. God has sent forth the spirit of his son into your hearts. Uh -huh. Crying, Abba, Father. Yes. Verse number seven. Wherefore thou art no more a servant, uh -huh. but a son. Uh -huh. And if a son, mm -hmm. then an heir of God through Christ. Oh, yeah. We're going to stop right there. You may be seated. Let us pray. Dear God, dear Father, we thank you once again. Father, we don't take you lightly. Give us a calmness on the day, God, uh -huh. that we might please you, God, with realness. Yeah. That's what we want to do. We want to please you with realness. It is our intentions, God, to please you. In spite of it's our intentions to please you. So give us that calmness right now. Oh, God, oh, God, continue to uh, help us help ourselves. God, continue, oh, God, to help us, oh, God, run this race. Oh, God, please do that for us today. God, send a word, oh, God, that will move on our behalf, that would move mightily, God, that we will serve you in the right way. Uh -huh. Build us up and strengthen us where we're weak. Yes. Oh, God, move us out of situations that we not need to be in. Yes, help us, oh, God, help us on today. Yes. We thank you, Lord, and we praise you. Thank you, God. We praise you because you are the one to praise. You're the one that deserves the praise. You deserve all our praise, God. Help us stand fast. Help us continue to be unmovable. Always abounding in your word, God. Help us all today. We thank you, God, and we praise you. It is in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Let the church say amen. 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 I would like to use for a thought today, not be with you long. What a friend we have in Jesus. Uh -huh. When I think about a man, a friend, it's almost to me a lifetime determining what a friend really is. Because from day to day, you run into all kind of obstacles and situations misunderstandings with a friend. Mm -hmm. They may not, amen, pour out what you need at that time to be poured out to you. But it's amazing to me to not know the true meaning of a friend. Uh -huh. Daily, amen, I ask this question Lord, what is a true friend? When I say daily, I mean, I wake up with it sometime in my heart. What do you mean a true friend? And we come, amen, to get to my heart. What a friend we have in Jesus. Uh -huh. That's not like him. That's no friend like him. I mean, really, modified in your mind what a friend truly is. Friend is one that Look beyond your faults. Amen. And see your needs. That's one of the attributes of Jesus, right? A friend, a man, a friend don't, a man, say yes when he's supposed to say no. Come on, come on, come on. You know, you got a lot of friends, a man, that'll say yeah when they ought to be saying no. Uh -huh. Go ahead. You got a lot of friends that say do it when they ought to be saying don't do it. But this Jesus I'm talking about. What a friend we have in Jesus. And I begin to think about Christmas as of yesterday, amen. I pray that everyone had a wonderful time with your families. Love, a lot of love, a lot of giving. It's all good. 
It's all good. But I begin to think about if Satan or the enemy had been successful in preventing the birth of Jesus. One of the Christmas famous books and movies was the Grinch. Let's stole Christmas. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Maybe some of y'all watched that on yesterday or a day or two ago. I had an opportunity to watch a little bit of it. But I submit to you that Satan is the Grinch that has tried to steal or stop Christmas since the beginning and he continues to steal the true meaning today. He's made every effort to stop Jesus' birth. I mean, look at what, what happened. Jesus was born in a manger. Now, if some of y'all ain't never, some of y'all might be city folk, y'all might not know where a manger is. Might not know nothing about a barn full of animals. All kinds of stuff in there. Got a cousin out there telling you know what I'm talking about. Amen. Bless your heart. We, we grew up in a country where, amen, you had a barn out back. Chicken coop. Pigs. Yeah, they want nothing clean about it. I hear to tell you right now. You ever had a clean a chicken coop? You know what I'm talking about. I'm digressing here. I'm going to speed up a little bit. I don't want y'all to get tired on me. But he was born in a manger. The Bible says. So they made a filthy barn. Uh, I heard uh, uh, just a couple of weeks, not last week, uh, Sister Jones, Reverend Jones was talking about that manger, that place that was filthy, cold, full of disease. Yeah, and crazy animals in there too. How about Herod the Great? Y'all know the story, man? The awful tyrant had all the babies two years in down murdered, hoping to get to baby Jesus. Yeah, yeah. What if the Grinch, Satan, had seceded? Jesus never would have been born or during the Christmas season as a baby. He would have been murdered. What if Christmas wasn't Christmas? Never was or has been. There would be a man there would be, amen, no rejoicing, mm -hmm. glad tithing, mm -hmm. celebrations. Uh -huh. All these years, Christmas has developed from a simple recognition of the birth of the Messiah to a mega commercialized season where things has little to nothing to do with the birth of the Savior. I don't want to bust up out of bubble this morning. I didn't want to be able to do it. But I want to tell you about this man named Jesus on this morning. And what he done for me and what he's done for you. Yet we celebrate. We keep trying to get back to the original intent of the season. Keep the reason of the season, which is Jesus. Christmas is a family time, a joyous time, a time for memories, fantasies, giving, visiting, singing, and love. Yes, if no Christmas, none of these things probably would be. I have not seen no other religion that has a holiday on the scale of festivity as Christmas. Without Christmas, there would be no parties at work or at school. Probably not. No gift exchange. No dirty Santa. No hassle shopping, mall, finding the perfect gift or getting that perfect gift for the person who already has everything. Yeah. Yeah, that's something good. Yeah. No search for the perfect Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. After that, no decorating the tree or the house. No Christmas specials on TV or Christmas amen songs on the radio. We wouldn't have the, this holiday to look forward to all year. 
We only have to look forward to tax day. <laughs> April food. <laughs> Halloween. I submit to you, there wouldn't be a Thanksgiving day. No Redeemer, no God, no one to give thanks to. With all the stress, the hoopla, hassles of Christmas. Me personally, I'm so glad that we have Christmas. But let me give you some more consequences of no Christmas. And you may want to consider this. No redemption. Gospel. Gifts. Romans 6 and 23 states this. For the wages of sin is to help. Galatians, third chapter, first round number 10. For as many as are the words of the law and under the curse, for it is written, curse everyone that continues not in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them. I didn't come to bust your bubble this morning. Stay with me if you will just for a little while longer. Revelation 21 and 8. What does it say? But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. I didn't come to bless you, Let's stay happy. But the gift of God, here's what it says, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. That's a good time to shout, thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. John 3 and 15, what does it say? That whosoever believes it, it's a 15, whosoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. John 3 and 17 states this, God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. First, we see his divine origin. There was an event that took place before the birth of Christ in the manger. Even before the conception of Christ, in the womb of the Virgin Mary. This was real interesting to me when I began to read it. It was a sending forth of Christ from God the Father. We're told in Galatians 4 and 4, but when the fullness of time come, God sent forth his Son. Christ had always existed with the Father. Jesus the Christ was born. Uh -huh. John 1 and 1 state this, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. When was the beginning is my question to you. He was already was. He comes out of eternity to meet us. He did not begin. He was in the beginning was the word. He was already there when the beginning was. As a man, Jesus prayed to the Father. John 17, 5. Amen. The fifth verse is and now, O oh, Father, glorify thou me with thy own self, with the glory which I had with thee. Before the world was. Christ had always existed in perfect love and fellowship with God the Father. One day, amen, at the precise time, the precise time, God sent him forth. It was God's plan even before there was a world. 
Ah, oh, don't they make you happy? First Peter, chapter number one, round verse number 20, what does it say? Who really was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you? Jesus made a conscious choice to be sent. While Jesus was full of divine and origin, he was likewise full of human. Come on, yeah. He entered the world just as you and I entered the world. Uh -huh. He was born of a woman. Yeah. yeah. He was a man. He was Mary's son. Uh -huh. He hungered. He thirsted. Yeah. 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 He ate. Amen. He drank. Uh -huh. And worked and played. Yeah. He laughed and he wept. He hurt and he bled. He prayed. Amen. And he lived and died as a man. He said in Matthew, amen, the fifth chapter around the 17th verse, uh, he said, Think not that I am come to destroy the law or, amen, the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill in that he did perfectly. That's a good time to say thank you, Jesus. He fulfilled it. Not only outwardly, but perfectly obeying God's law from the heart. This couldn't be said of no other man who's ever lived. Christmas is about an advent, an advent, a man of the Savior. He lowered himself. He condescended. He came down in order that we, amen, could go up when the rapture took place. Ah, what a friend we have in Jesus. I don't know, amen, whether you're looking for a friend. I think you, Lord, I felt that. I don't know whether you're looking for a friend or not. And you're lost in the time of looking for that friend. But I will tell you that the best friend you can ever have is in Jesus. What a friend we have in Jesus. God sent his greatest gift to mankind at the precise time. He always does everything at the right time. Beloved, forget not all his benefits. Yes. If we don't get into a habit of thanking God for what we do have. Uh -huh. We'll soon become ungrateful because of what we don't have. Go ahead, man. What a friend we have in Jesus. Isaiah 53rd chapters around the fourth verse, what does it say? Surely he has borne our grief uh -huh. and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken. Smiting of God. Come on. And afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. Yeah, yeah. He was bruised, hallelujah, for our iniquities. Uh -huh, uh -huh. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. Oh, we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord have laid on him the iniquity of us all. That's a good time. It says, thank you, Jesus. Y'all mighty quiet, but we're talking about Jesus in here today. Anybody know him ought to be saying, thank you, Jesus. I'm not trying to coerce you, but I feel a thank you in my spirit. He removed our curse by taking our curse as he suffered yeah. and bled and died yeah. on the cross. Yeah. Beloved, what a friend yeah. we have in Jesus. Yeah. All our sins and grief to bear. Yeah. What a privilege to carry everything to God Amen. in prayer. Amen. Oh, what peace we often forfeit 
Oh, what needless pains we bear. All because we don't carry everything to God in prayer. Have we trials and temptations? Is there trouble anywhere? Come on, We should never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Can we find a friend that's so faithful? Who will all our sorrows share? Jesus knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Are we weak? church say amen. amen. Let the church say amen again. Amen. What a friend we have in Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Surely we thank God for this word on today. Amen. amen. You see, many of us thought that Christmas was all about Belk Tower. <laughs> J.C. Penny and Macy's. <laughs> amen. Amazon and Walmart. Come to find out it ain't about none of them after all. It's about that friend we have in Jesus. And what friend do you know will give his own life that you might have life? Somebody ought to shout hallelujah. Thank God for the preached word on today. Amen. Listen, beloved, if you heard the, the word today and you know that God was speaking to you, amen, and you want to accept him as your Savior, amen, I offer you Jesus on today. Amen. Will you come and make Jesus the Lord of your life? Yeah. He will save you from your sin. Amen. 
that, that's what his mission is. Amen. He will save you from your sin. Hallelujah. You want to be saved today, I offer you salvation through Jesus. All you have to do, beloved, is just receive Jesus as your Lord by repeating this simple prayer. Would you bow your heads? Holy Father, come on, pray with me. I am a sinner, but I want to be saved. I believe in Jesus. I believe that he lived that he died and that he was resurrected from the dead. I believe that he now sits on your right hand making intercession for me. I accept Jesus into my heart as my Savior and my Lord. Save me now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Beloved, if you said that prayer, I want to tell you that you are now saved and you are a member of the family of God. How many believe that in the family of God you are loved? In the family of God you are cared for. You are protected and you are safe. Hallelujah. Now, now, if you would like to become a member of the High Calling Baptist Church, Amen. I ask that you will please remain after service for just a few minutes to confer with Reverend Jenkins. Wait, wave your hand, Reverend Jenkins. Or oh, Reverend Jones. Would you wave your hand, Reverend Jones? Amen. Uh, or you can contact us through this fa Facebook page. If you are already saved but don't have a church home, or you realize that you have strayed away from Jesus the Christ, I need for you to understand that Jesus still loves you. Amen. And he still wants you. And he wants you to reconnect to him through a local assembly. Amen. I invite you to worship with us and serve God with us here at High Calling Baptist Church. If that is your desire today, please contact us through this Facebook page. Or see Reverend Jones or Reverend Jenkins after service. This concludes our worship service on today. Thank you all so much for worshiping with us. Our prayer for each and every one of you is that you will grow in the grace and the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ. Amen. Would you give our choir a hand today? <laughs> Would you also give our musicians a hand? Come on, give yourselves a hand. And if you got it in, you give God a hand. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! He is worthy. Come on, ask you to stand to your feet. Let me say this, all of us here at Howard Collin Baptist Church, whether we are in the sanctuary or on Facebook Live, we would like to wish each and every one of you under the sound of my voice and your family a very prosperous new year. Amen. Now, with those left your hands, the grace of our Lord and Savior, Wait a minute. Let's give this preacher a hand. Did he not preach today? Up up your hands. The grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Spirit, rest, rule, abide with us henceforth, now and forever. Let us all say amen. 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 God bless you. We are dismissed.